Vencigo Romale, a Vencigo Chavale, a Vencigo Cabsha de la Aleluya, a Vencigo Romale, a Vencigo Chavale, a Vencigo Cabsha de Opa. The Danube River passes through this ancient city, Budapest, in Eastern Europe. The 2014 Roma Mission Conference took place here. This extraordinary gathering, initiated by the Great Commission Center International, received great responses from churches and mission organizations of many nations. More than 160 representatives from 16 countries arrived in Budapest on September 29, 2014. Among them, 100 were Roma leaders. The Reverend Thomas Wong explained the purpose of the conference. For half a century, the church has been talking about global missions through reaching the unreached people groups of the world. Yet we have just discovered today that in Europe alone, there is an unreached people group with 10 to 12 million people. They are the Roma people. The Roma are what we call the gypsies. They have been discriminated and oppressed everywhere. They have been deported by most governments, leading to a situation where many of them are still homeless to this day, drifting from place to place on horse wagons. There are very few Christians among them, and even fewer churches. There is a severe shortage of missionary to them. Therefore, many churches do not even include Roma in their evangelistic or mission outreach. We truly owe a gospel debt to the Roma. In November 2013, we organized a small short mission trip to the Roma in several European countries and resolved afterwards that we must prepare a mission conference for the Roma to be held in Eastern Europe in order to stir up the burden of the churches in Eastern Europe toward the Roma. Thank the Lord. This is the first ever mission conference specially designed for the Roma people. Although time was limited, our co-workers did all they could to make the preparations for the conference as thorough as possible. Simultaneous interpretation in six different languages were provided. The pulpit languages were in English and Serbian. This conference is taking place and we can begin to focus more on this unreached peoples group who are scattered throughout the whole of Europe and who are suffering and are disenfranchised and mistreated and lots of horror stories and rumors. Of course, they fail just like everybody else. So this, this is an important moment for me personally. The daily meetings that were chaired by Roma Christians and they also led the worship teams. This arrangement was exciting for the Roma people. The opening ceremony took place on September 29. Reverend Wong welcomed the delegates from various countries. All those who are from Hungary, please Sioni stand. <laughs> from Romania. Ooh. Wow. Serbia, Croatia, Bulgaria, Albania, Macedonia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Kosovo, Slovakia, Finland, Chinese Church. Jesus, God loves Roma. Roma loves God. We love Roma. Roma loves us. Third one, 
We are one family. Family of Christ. We have international speakers like Dr. George Weber, Dr. Peter Kuzmix. We can see that our mission must be very holistic. And we are from here, one in Christ. So if we believe in one God, what is the meaning of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? The Lord our God, the Lord is one. First uh, Christian Roma organization is founded uh, 100 years ago. But the main is that we want to tell gospel to them and how God can change their life. In other words, in all that we do, the Bible, the Word of God, the scriptures must be central. There is no other sure foundation other than the Word of God. We need new heart. Because God is watching our heart. The conference has arranged for scholars and specialists to brief on the history and current conditions of the Roma. There are workshops and country meetings in the afternoon for participants to get to know and to learn from each other and to pray together. Hopefully, they will apply what they have learned from the conference when they return home. We also hope they will not only work among the Roma, but God will use them to spread the gospel to other peoples. The main purpose of this conference is firstly to inform the world of the needs of the Roma, and secondly, to encourage unity among the Roma. If they could be encouraged to spread the gospel among their own people, it would be much more effective because they have the advantage of language, customs, and cultural tradition. But we need to encourage them and ready to help them. Also, it is our hope that more Chinese churches will participate in this task, helping the Roma in their needs such as training and offering cooperation. I too hope the Chinese churches will be more concerned about the Roma's need of the gospel. Furthermore, our concern should not be limited to prayer alone, but also in real action in helping the Roma to know Jesus Christ. By the grace of God and the work of the Holy Spirit, the burden toward the Roma from the European churches have increased. Hopefully, they will dispatch more missionaries to the Roma. This is a new beginning. We hope all peoples of the world will double and redouble their efforts in getting the gospel to the Roma. This is our great hope. All of this conference, this convention was started by Chinese because they, they felt abandoned for the Roma people. So. That, that's kind of a, like a foolishness of God because in the world it doesn't go together. You know, Chinese and Roma people, you know, how, how is that possible? But God is just, in His wisdom, God is just pouring out His love in the Chinese hearts. And so it was great just to see so many Roma pastors coming to each other, sharing ideas, sharing visions, sharing their dreams, sharing their burdens, crying to each other, you know, laughing with each other, singing together, you know, praising God together. For the first time, I've seen so many Roma leaders, so many Roma pastors. I've had so many reports from other countries and other Roma churches, which is great. I, I, I am amazed that Chinese people having burden for the gypsies. It's wonderful. It's a miracle. God is networking us because I've met so many pastors and leaders for, from other Roma churches in uh, Bulgaria, Romania, uh, Finland even, uh, France. So uh, I'm... I'm really uh, amazed to see them, to hear about their work, to hear about the Romas in their countries, about the different dialects, about different needs that are uh, really uh, existing right now. So I, I believe um, this will be just a little stone, when you know, for the mountain, when one stone falls down and rolls down, it can pull many other stones. So I pray for this conference to be like that. From us who are just small in this body, but when we all who are small come together, we are one huge body that is undefeatable in Him who is the head and who gives us the strength to continue. Everyone 
wanted the movement to continue. Six leaders were elected for the follow-up work. They will keep in touch with Roma leaders and churches in Europe. They will also be responsible for preparing the second Roma conference in one or two years' time, again in Eastern Europe. We know this will not be an easy task. They need God's grace and appreciate our prayer. Definitely, any next step should involve key Roma leaders to be part of directing the next step. Historic conference came to a close at noon, October 3rd, 2014. However, this is not the end, but a great beginning. Right after this conference, a number of our team members will go in three mission trips to Romania, Serbia, and Hungary to visit the Roma people in those countries in order to understand their living conditions, their life, family, children, education, beliefs, and churches. We pray that all Roma will turn to Christ and become soldiers of the cross. Hallelujah. May God's will be done. Amen.